Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating one page per month calendars automatically in Microsoft Word. Now you used to be able to do this really easily with a tool called the Calendar Wizard and I wrote a post in 2014 that showed you how you could actually still use the Calendar Wizard even though it was from like years and years and years ago. You could use it in Word 2013 and 2016. Well the good news is that you can use it in Word 365 as well and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today because it's simply the easiest way of making calendars in Microsoft Word. So you're going to my website, I'm going to give you the link in the description below for that website. I'm going to click here to go to the Dropbox folder so you'll just click on that link you'll see that wizard files can't be previewed not a problem just click on download do direct download you don't want to send it to your own Dropbox you just want to be able to download it Now I'm going to install it or download it to my downloads folder. It should happen automatically on your computer. I just have mine set to ask me where I want to download to. This has got bracket to bracket after it because I've downloaded it a few times already. So I'm just going to click to save it. So we've now got the calendar wizard downloaded. The next step is to go to Microsoft Word. I'll click on Microsoft Word and I'll choose open and we're going to browse to the downloads folder to pick up that download that I just did. I'm going to pick the one that I just downloaded so you can see that it works perfectly. I'll click to open it. So this is opening inside Microsoft Word. I'm going to click here on enable editing and enable content. If you see those just click on them. Now we'll go to view and there's a macro here so we'll go to macros. Here's our start wizard macro. Looks like it's all going to be perfect. It's not but don't worry. I'll click run. Now the wizard says you cannot use the active document to run the wizard, choose new from the file menu and select calendar wizard. Well, you know, this is a pretty old wizard. This is not how it works anymore. So I'm just going to click OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose file and we're going to save as. And what we want to do is we want to save this calendar wiz file in a format that we can use. So what we're going to do is drop down this list here and we want to choose word macro enabled template. It's a template. It's got macros in it. This is the way that we need to save it. So word macro enabled template. Really important to choose the template option. So you can leave the name as it is and you're just going to click save. Ignore this, just click continue and it's now saved. So now you can close down Microsoft Word and run it yet again. Now this time we're going to create a new document. I'll click on new. We're going to pick up the new calendar wizard document template that we just created. So we'll go to personal and here is calendar wiz 2. So this is the one that I just created just then. So what we're doing is we're creating a brand new document based on that calendar wiz template. I'm just going to click enable content here. When I do the calendar wiz comes up and this is the standard calendar wizard that we've had inside Microsoft Word for years and years. So I'm going to click next. I'm going to choose the style of calendar. I like the banner one. I'm going to choose that. I want it to be landscape. I'll make sure I choose landscape. Yes, I do want to leave room for a picture, so I'll click yes. I'll click next. We can choose the date range at the moment. It's December to December 2020, so that's just one month. In fact, I want to do one for the calendar year 2021. So I'll choose January 2021 and December 2021. So it's going to run from January to December. But one of the beauties of this calendar wizard has always been that you don't have to start on that month. So we could theoretically, since it's December 2020 right now, we could start at December 2020 and go to December 2021. That's 30 months. So you can make as many months as you like or as few and you can start anywhere you like. You just have to end after you started which makes sense. So I'm just going to click next and then finish. So what Microsoft Word has gone and done is created a 13 page document this time because we started in December 2020 and all the way down the bottom here is December 2021. Now the only issue that I found with this particular one is that there's a white area here. The way that this 
shape is filling in the most recent version of Word is not quite the same way as it used to fill. So this is my solution. I'm clicking inside the box and I'm just going to click this option. Now, if you think that December and 2020 are too close together, just place your cursor in front of the word December and hit the space bar a couple of times. Now you'll need to go through and do that for every one of these months. Just click here on justify, go in front of the letter J if you need to press the space bar a couple of times. So this is a pretty simple process given that what Microsoft Word has just done is created for you a calendar that you can use to create one month at a time calendars in Microsoft Word. Now to replace pictures, this is what you're going to do. You're going to click on the picture and just press delete. The frame is still here. With the cursor still inside the frame, choose insert and then you're going to locate your pictures. In this case, I'm going to online pictures and I'm going to look up Christmas food. So I found some images here. I kind of like this one. I'm just going to check how big it is. Well, it's 615 wide by 410. It's on the small side but it will do for right now. But you can just check and see how big each of these images are. Actually, this one's really much better. So let's actually go and grab this one. I'll click it and click insert. Now, because this image is wider than it is tall, it's just being used to fill the box. Well, what we need to do is to start cropping it. So I'll select the picture and click here on crop. This is under the picture format tab. So when I start to crop it, I'm just going to bring the edges in because I need to make it a much more vertical sort of portrait size image. So let's go with that. Let's click away on the crop tool and let's just go and resize it. Okay, it still needs to come in a little bit thinner. That's fine. We'll go to crop again and we'll just start cropping it in. Now I'm looking for a good portion of this image. I think I want the green and the red bits. I also don't want the top of that plate, so I think I might come in and just crop it there. Click crop again and then just resize it. Now I haven't quite got it right here, but I think it's going to be near enough. Because it's inside a frame, it's going to get cut off if it's outside the frame, so you don't need to worry too much about that. And you'll go through, obviously, through the entire document and make the changes you need to it, and then you're ready to go and print it. I hope this video has been of help to you. I know that a lot of people really love this calendar wizard and really want to be able to continue to use it. And of course, the good news is that even in December 2020, even given what 2020 has served up to us, it is still possible to use the calendar wizard if you know how, and that's how you do it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.